Hi friends, Amy Love here, and I got some crafty time today, which I was so excited about. And so I put together this little like journal insert using the envelopes and some of the embossed bits from my kit club kit from Doreen. And I'm also using the Ula La Vintage Treasures digitals and some Angel Dream Craft laces and appliques. So I'm using snippets of all the things that I've just had laying around and I'm going to put them all together to make this really pretty little journal insert. So this is that fabulous book paper that I get from Doreen that I love and I left the um, inside uncovered because you could journal on both sides of that and on the outside I used French book paper and the gold polka dot tool I got in my kit club kit uh, to make pockets and then I added this adorable little teacup applique that I got from Angel Dream Crafts and I just love it it's so cute and I love these window envelopes they came in the kit all distressed like that I love them Doreen so cute so this is a little snippet from Kim's shop this is I've got several different kits going on from Doreen's Digitals because I'm just using the bits I had already made up. So I'm not sure where that bow, which digital kit that bow is from. I feel like maybe it's Divine Moments, but I don't know for sure. But all the little um, digitals that I have sewn already down to lace, those are from Pink Parfait Cafe. And they're so cute. And when I found the little pile of these digitals already sewn down to lace. I was like, oh, I forgot I had these. So they inspired me to create this. So, so cute. So I have also a big pile on my desk of my Angel Dream Crafts snippets. I tried to use uh, the snippets up because, you know, the snippets get out of hand, y'all. My snippet pile is insane. But then there was this one lace that I loved that I snippety snipped, which I can't wait to show you. So that wasn't a snippet, but I made snippets out of it. So I feel like I wanna put something on the bottom, but I decided not to go with that cup chain. And I found my little uh, flat back pearls. And that's what I went with to add at the bottom. So cute. And that bow on that teacup is from Angel Dream Crafts, Kim on Etsy, also. This was just such a fun, a small little project to get into and do today. I was so thankful to have the time to play. It was a beautiful stormy day here in Maine and I was just glad my power stayed on <laughs> so I could craft. It made for good crafty day. So there's the front, so cute. And I did make like a little dangle to go on the front that my camera would not focus on for me to show you. So um, there will be pictures um, at the end of this video that will show you the cute little um, dangle I made that has one of uh, Doreen's digitals inside of it. It's so, so stinking cute. So I'm going through my piles trying to decide what to do here. And I had to do a voiceover because I got some crafty time in with Kim today and I was thankful to have it. But I wanted to go ahead and get this video made. So a voiceover will have to do. But here is that snippety snip lace that I got from Kim that I am absolutely loving right now. And I use so much of it in this little journal insert because it's so cute. I mean, look at it. These things just want to go in all the corners. They're so cute. And then there's also like a heart um, in that lace too. So very fun to cut up. And while I was telling Kim how much I loved it, she informed me that she can get it in other colors. So be on the lookout. Even though this color is great, but I think she's also going to get it in a dark accru color that I'm excited about. And I think she's going to get it in blue also. So such fun i'm here for the lace goodies <laughs> for sure <laughs> so i'm just gonna hot glue these down that's just the easiest for me because i like immediate hold <laughs> 
I mean, bless y'all who are using these liquid glues. That is just not my jam. Not at all. But if I am, I will tell you, I do have Fabri-Tac. I don't use it a lot though. But I also have glossy accents for when you, you need glossy accents. And I do love it. And I also like this art glitter glue that I have. But for the most part, I am a hot glue girl. And I love the stain on this envelope. That's how it came in my Kit Club kit. So thank you, Doreen. So cute. I did uh, punch that notch in it, though, with my, um, my circle punch, just so that it would be easier to get something in and out of it. And... Oh. I love this. This has got to be Pink Parfait Cafe. So cute. And I don't remember which project that was where I had cut, already cut out all these digitals and sewn them onto lace and cheesecloth. For the life of me, I can't remember right now. I don't know if it was for a trifold folio or what, but I was just glad that I had, <laughs> I was just glad that I had the stitches, the, them all stitched together already because then I could just play. Everything was just ready to go. And I love that. They're also stickled too, which is amazing. It's nice when you just have piles of embellishments already ready to go so that you can just play when you get the time. <laughs> it was fabulous. Fabulous. So I think I'm cutting out um, a heart from that beautiful lace it's such a great snippety snip lace, Kim. So cute. Aw, oh, sweet. I love the hearts. Love it, love it, love it. I also love that, um, that print on that envelope flap. It was just so pretty that I decided just to leave it like that. It's just so cute. It goes in and out much easier with that um, notch. I used a, the big circle punch because I didn't think a little a notch was going to be good enough. Now there is this pretty applique from Angel Dream Crafts that I am going to add to the back side. Even though it's really pretty print, I like the way that looks there. And I got two of those, so I don't remember if I used the other one or if I still have it. I still have a giant mess on my desk. Oh, nope, I still have it. <laughs> so I only used one of them um, on this project. And I didn't use all of my Ooh La La Vintage um, Treasures snippets either. So I still have a pile to play with, which is fun. That white uh, envelope that's next is embossed beautifully and was in my last um, Kit Club kit from Doreen. I love it. And so I left one side open and then on the other side, I just cut an, um, I cut an opening on the top. So it is a top pocket, top loading pocket. So cute. And I had this little pink snippet i mean it's a little bitty tiny thing it was laying on my desk it's from um an applique from kim's store and i just saw it laying there and i was like that wants to go on the front so i had to flip back to the front and glue that down it's just so cute <laughs> so cute so now i'm just digging through my piles trying to decide what I want to use next. Sometimes it takes me a long time to decide just because there's so many choices. I mean, my desk is completely covered. Oh, don't you just love that image? Mm, it's so pretty and it's stickled up so beautifully. I don't know if you can see the sparkle on it, but it's so cute. Just love it. And on that one, I put a little bit of cheese, uh, pink cheesecloth behind it. 
So I did put an image on this side, but I don't think I put an image on the other side because it has enough flat space where you could journal if you wanted to. So I did use a smaller um, circle punch to put a notch on the top of that pocket so you'd know it was a pocket. And then I have that beautiful digital left from the Biscotti um, silk couture kit. And I end up putting a paper clip uh, to clip that flap down on the envelope with a little piece of uh, sorry silk tied to the top of it. It's just so cute which you'll see those in the pictures because I had to I had to make it <laughs> so I made it after I was done filming so there's another beautiful image from the pink parfait cafe so cute Now trying to decide if I'm going to cut some bows out. I knew that I had some bows already cut out, but they are, were just lost, I think, on my desk. <laughs> I thought you could journal here, so I didn't want to put anything really there. And I thought that would also be a great place to journal. But then I had like this beautiful snippet um, of Kim's lace that I just think is so pretty. And it happened to fit perfectly. Um, but first I was playing with this gorgeous applique from Kim's store and I ended up not using it because it's it's white and silver and I felt like this little journal insert was just warmer colors but then I had this beautiful snippet so I thought about just putting it on the top and it could just be like a flap but then uh, I was showing Kim what I was doing and Kim was like pocket I was like, okay, so a pocket is what we made. <laughs> Thanks for the help, Kim. So funny. And that is the last piece I have of that beautiful lace. Uh, but I do believe she is going to order some more because I don't think there's any in the store right now. But it was just like it was meant to be. It fit there perfectly. I only had to trim off very little on the end. Such a pretty lace. So I did this journal insert. I didn't over embellish because I thought it would be nice for whoever got it to have also some space to add their own bits to it. So um, not all of the pockets are full. Not everything is fully decorated so that um, you could add your own touches too. So this will be available in my Etsy and you'll find a link to my Etsy store below. But it's just so cute. It was so fun to create. Just so much fun. Designing for both of these ladies is such fun and thank you both. So I decided to glue that down because that flap was kind of making me crazy. And now I'm going to use some more of that snippety snip lace to decorate. And I'm going to put these postcards in this envelope. So I need I wanted to make little pull tabs uh, for the end so it would be easier to get them in and out of the envelope. And I'm going to use uh, this gorgeous gold polka dot tool that I got in my kit from Doreen that I used in the front of the book to make the pockets um, on that book paper. I just love it. So I'm gonna use these to make little pull tabs. But it's kind of funny because I cut two pull tabs and then I put one on and my desk ate the other one and I couldn't find it. Even though I'm gonna watch this and I'll probably see where it was. <laughs> I couldn't find it so I had to cut another one. You know how it goes. And then I am going to use the snippety snip lace to decorate um, this back envelope. And then it and then I will add my little dangle to the front. And I just think it turned out so cute. It was so fun to make. Uh, be sure you go check out the links to uh, Doreen's Etsy and her Facebook and to Kim's Etsy store. Uh, 
and her Facebook if you're interested. And uh, please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And I hope you're all having a great day. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, everybody.